you. And we're going to just go over a couple of, uh, you know, like four tips and tricks on the proper way to set up the IV. And what I mean setting up the IV is setting up the, the vessel and the lines and how to do it correctly. Hey everybody, this is Carlos from CVTV. Welcome to another workshops. I'm here with Dave Dockin, owner of Coral View, and we're going to just go over a couple of, uh, you know, like four tips and tricks on the proper way to set up the IV. So let's get to it. Okay. What's the first tip, Dave? So the first one is ensure the drain and the fill hard lines are reaching the bottom of the test beaker. Well, this is where it's going to pick up in uh, the water inside the beaker for the drain and the fill. So you want this coming down all the way to the bottom to take up all of the, the water out of the beaker. So Dave, I understand, you know, I can, I get the, the drain part because you you know, you have to take water out of the beaker, but I don't understand why does the fill line have to go all the way to the bottom? So it's, it's run, it runs in reverse. So it picks up and it fills from that same hard line. Okay. All right. So now the next tip is ensure the tip of the reagent line, the rigid tubing is permanently submerged underwater, but it's not touching the bottom of the beaker. Mm -hmm. We actually ensure that the line for the reagent is shorter. So you can't push it all the way down, but you should push it down enough so that the tip of that line is fully submerged all the water. So what I usually do is make sure that the tip is at least half an inch from the bottom of the beaker. All right, Dave, what's the next one? Oh, ensure that the probes are not touching the bottom. You want to leave about a half an inch space off that, off the bottom of the beaker. Exactly. And the reason we do that is because we don't want the probes getting damaged by the yep. spinning magnet, the stirring mm -hmm. magnet. So I usually say between a quarter of an inch and a, and a half an inch is perfectly fine because yep. the, the stirring magnet is small. So it's just enough to do that. So make sure that the probe at least a quarter of an inch away from the bottom of the beaker. So, and the next one, the last one, which is a big one, actually, mm -hmm. it's a big one is ensure yep. the stirring magnet actually runs when you're right. doing a test. Mm -hmm. So when you first run a test, after you've done the calibration, everything, and you're ready to do a test and you're going to do a manual test, you have to be careful about this and just take your time and watch the test go on. At least that way you can get familiarized yourself with, yeah. the, with the steps. But at the same time is if you see that the entire test is going through and the spinning is not happening, mm -hmm. then there's something wrong. Okay. Without it spinning, it will throw off the test. So it, it will throw off the test. It definitely exactly. needs to be mixed. And the spinning happens. It doesn't happen 100% while the test is running. It only happens at certain times. Mm -hmm. So it happens once at the beginning of the test, and then it happens a lot towards the end of the test. Yeah. So those are the tips and tricks for ensuring that the IV, the IV vessel is installed correctly. If you have any questions, please head on over to support.coralv.com and one of the reps in there is going to be able to help you. Or you can head over to our Facebook, Coral V Hydros Group. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you later.